In that segment tonight, a free press. Does the USA really have one? That is the subject of the second Talking Points memo this evening. With President Trump taking on the national media, saying much of it is corrupt and fake news, a major controversy has erupted, as you know. Mr. Trump has been criticized by both the left and the right. I hate the press. I hate you especially. <laughs> but the fact is, I, we need you. We need a free press. We must have it. It's vital. If you want to preserve, I'm very serious now, if you want to preserve democracy as we know it, you have to have a free and many times adversarial press. Senator McCain apparently believing that the American press is, quote, free. But is that true? Many Americans believe that the national media has now become an arm of the Democratic Party. That is, they don't coordinate with the Democrats, they're not attending meetings, but their sympathies are simpatico with the party. On television, the overwhelming number of newscasters are liberal. The Constitution anticipated this. The Founding Fathers anticipated Donald Trump. They feared tyrants. And the questions of has the right experience and has the right judgment, Hillary Clinton won those questions by gargantuan amounts and numbers. He never denied it, but I think what the people are saying is we don't care. We hear what you say about him. We don't want to hear it. It made him stronger. We don't care. And now that President Trump has taken office, the attacks on him are withering. President Trump, if you're watching, you're the president. You legitimately won the presidency. Now get to work and stop whining about it. It's a very irresponsible and ultimately dangerous moment in history, almost a proto-fascist moment in history, where he's laying seedbeds in the minds of the American people that the media itself is broken. As we know, there's, since 2000, been a couple dozen suspicious deaths of journalists uh, in Russia who came out against the government there. Donald Trump has made no secret about going after journalists and his decision taste for any news that doesn't agree with him here. Do you find that this is a dangerous path he is heading down? So now he's going to kill us. Again, it is not a stretch for any fair-minded person to believe that the national media leans heavily left and despises President Trump, not willing to give him a chance or any benefit of the doubt. Surely that's what's going on. Surely. As for the adversarial nature of the press, Senator McCain is correct. The Founding Fathers gave us specific freedom so we could tell you how the people in power were behaving. But when the press aligns itself with a political movement, in this case liberalism, then it is no longer objective or free because it's sympathizing with a political point of view. It is tethered to a philosophy. This is not unique to America. The European press is far left, generally speaking. They're worse than the press here. But in America, President Trump has made this an enormous issue. Some believe that the Fox News Channel is not fair and free. I dispute that, pointing to analysis of our on-air personnel. We put forth both sides. President Obama would disagree. And remember, he complained about the press, too. Do you think I'm unfair to you? Do you think I can give you Absolutely. Of course you are, Bill. But I like you anyway, though. Okay, but they, give, me, uh, give me how it's, I'm it's, unfair. It, 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 but look. Give me how I'm unfair. Come on. You can make that accusation <laughs> without telling me. Bill, we just went through an interview in which you asked about health uh, care not working, IRS, was, were we uh, wholly corrupt, Benghazi, right? Right. So the list of issues that you talk about. But these are unanswered by, by, questions. But, but they're defined by you guys in a certain way. But the, look, this is okay. This is it, you know, it, if you want to if you want to be president of the United States, then you know that you're going to be subject to criticism. And but if it's unfair, I, I want to know the, if it's uh, unfair. <laughs> is it un? Criticism is criticism. It's my Bill, job to give you a hard time. And it is my job to give everyone in power a hard time, and I do. You remember that President Trump told me I should see a psychiatrist at one point. But I don't have an agenda other than an honest presentation. I like Barack Obama as I liked 
George W. Bush. I think they're both patriots, okay? Now, you may not agree with their policies. You may think that they're not managing well. That's fine. Everybody has an opinion. But as human beings, I think they're both trying to do what's best for their country. So I admire that. I respect that. Now, for saying that, the far right hammered me. Summing up, if the American press wants to regain respect, it needs to ditch its outwardly liberal bent. I know all these people. I know all the anchors, most of the producers. I know who they are and how they think. In the national press, it is at least 10 to 1 liberal over conservative. And that's the truth. And that's the memo.